Hello everyone, I'm Dan Li from University of Amsterdam. I'm glad to present my work entitled CRUD-JP, a Gaussian process model for inference relevance from CRUD annotations. This is a joint work with Zhao Chunren and Evangelos Knulas. This is the outline of the presentation. Test collections have significantly benefited the development of information retrieval. The quality of relevance labels are key to test collections. Traditionally, expert ex annotation is used, which can provide high quality labels, but it is time consuming and expensive and difficult to scale. Cross-sourcing has become an effective solution for labeling. It is cost effective and most importantly, easy to scale. However, the quality of crowd labels can be good or bad due to many factors. Therefore, Label aggregation plays an important role in improving label quality of datasets. An important question to ask is how to infer true labels from cross-sourcing labels. For example, in this toy example, we have six tasks and three, annotator, uh, three annotators. Each, tasks, uh, each task have different number of annotations. How can we aggregate the final label for each task. It is intuitive and simple to use majority voting, but majority voting treats it each annotator equally, which is not the truth. And there are several challenges for label aggregation. First, annotators have different levels of competence. They have different motivation, preference, or knowledge. Second, tasks have different levels of difficulty. The topics can be open domain or domain specific. And third, how to model annotators, tasks, and true labels together. We need a proper assumption of the annotation generation process. Existing work are mostly probabilistic graphical models. They define the joint distribution of observed labels Y and the latent true labels Z and model them in different ways. There are mainly two important assumptions. First, the independent assumption. They assume task true labels are generated independently, and annotators produce crowd labels independently given the true labels of tasks. That's why we can decompose the probability of PYZ. But this assumption is not correct, it's too strict. It oversimplifies the actual crowd annotation process. And the second uh, assumption is tasks are modeled as indicators, which makes the model not able to use auxiliary information of tasks or annotators. Furthermore, in the comparison study of label ag aggregation approaches in this work, it is found that out of nine approaches, only GLAD significantly outperform MV. Therefore, label aggregation task is a tough task and MV is a strong baseline. In this work, we relax the independence assumption and instead of modeling task correlation and assume a different annotation generation process. Our contributions are threefolded. We propose a new probability a graphical model crowd GP to infer true labels from crowd annotations and predict labels for new tasks for future annotation. We propose to use a variational expectation maximization algorithm to learn model parameters. And we also empirically demonstrated the effectiveness of crowd GP. Now I will formul uh, uh, form formally formulate the problem and then introduce the crowd GP model the training method, the prediction, and the two important implementation details, task feature and uh, mean function of GP. Given a certain number of annotations for n tasks generated by M annotators, denoted by C, our goal is to infer the true label of a task, which is the probability of P Y star equals to one conditioned on X star and capital X and capital Y which is the CRUD labels. For the CRUD GP model, we have three hypotheses. The first is about the 
correlation between tasks. We assume that a task is correlated with other tasks in some spaces in terms of their labels. And we use a Gaussian process to capture the correlation. The second uh, hypothesis is about noise from tasks and annotators. We assume both the noise from tasks for, and from annotators affect the observed crowd labels. And we use a set of Gaussian variables to model the noise. And the third assumption is about annotation generation process. We assume an observed crowd label is generated from a Bernoulli distribution, of which the positive probability is determined by three parameters, the latent GP, the task noise, and the annotator noise. And we use a set of Bernoulli variables to model crowd labels. So here comes to the graphical model, which is shown in figure one. For each task xi, there is a latent random variable fi, which models true task labels. Uh, and then we add a Gaussian noise, epsilon i, to fi. And therefore, we have ai, which equals to fi plus epsilon i. And when an annotator j annotates this task i, we assume uh, Gaussian noise, epsilon j, is added to ai. And then we get bij. Finally, we have um, the variable yig. We assume it follows a Bernoulli distribution, and the parameter is determined by phi big. Phi is the probit function. This part is same with the vanilla GP classification model. Now with this, we can already calculate the likelihood of the observed data. But wait, we need to optimize model parameters. And they are from epsilon i, epsilon j, the mean and variance, uh, as well as the mean function and covariance function for the GP. We use theta to denote all the parameters of this model. And we adopt a Bayesian view and maximize the log likelihood of the observed data plus the log of the parameter prior. However, the log likelihood part is not tractable because we stack a Bernoulli variable on top of a Gaussian variable. Instead, we apply VEM and optimize its uh, evidence lower bound, which is expressed in this formula. To calculate the elbow, we need to calculate three parts. The first part is the conditional likelihood, which can be inducted from the, pre uh, the previous slide. And the second part is a parameterized Gaussian distribution, the, vari uh, the variational, um, where we need to learn the parameter of psi. And the third part is the prior Gaussian distribution, which we have introduced in the previous slide, with parameter set to be learned. So here's the algorithm for optimization. In short, we alternatively optimize psi and set using gradient descent until the elbow converges. Now for the prediction, similar to the vanilla GP classification, we predict the true label by mapping the continuous value of latent function to a discrete value using probability function. Except for inferring labels for existing crowd labels, it is also interesting to predict labels for new tasks and select new tasks for future annotation. Because finding all relevant documents is one of the goals of task, task uh, collection construction in IR. Um, as our model can predict a Gaussian distribution, so the mean determines the relevance label and the variance determines the uncertainty. So with the mean and the variance, we can actually construct some kind of acquisition function to select new tasks that potentially have relevance labels. So on this um, figure, it is, uh, it is an example of the predictive distribution for a 1D Gaussian process with an illustration of an acquisition function in this green area. And now let's discuss the final part of our method. CrowdGP allows us to denote tasks as vectors and in this work, we use three types of features, the lexical, the semantic, and ranking. For the details, please read our paper. 
And another key advantage of CrowdJP is that it has main function, which allows us to incorporate the prime relevance knowledge and, out, and it output continuous latent values for inferring, uh, latent, uh, for inferring true labels. We test the three types of main functions in this, in this work, zero function, linear function, and a pre-trained ranking function. For the experiment, we use two data sets, which is shown in this table one. And for the baselines, for a fair comparison, uh, we have the following baselines. The first group uh, is for popular PGMs because our model is a PGM. And we compare DS, FC, MACE, and GLAD. Uh, for the second group of baseline, we want to see whether task auxiliary information together with crowd labels as features of classifiers can actually help to infer true labels. Therefore, we propose a new classifier um, ourselves and uh, compare it. Finally, we want to see how the GP component and the likelihood component contribute in model performance. Therefore, we compare with two variants of CrowdGP. MVGP keeps the GP component and removes the likelihood component and use majority voted labels as the supervision signal. And LK removes the GP component and only keeps the likelihood component. The first research question is, how does the model perform in terms of inferring uh, latent true labels from crowd annotations? We conduct the five-fold cross-validation uh, cross and uh, report accuracy and F1 on test sets. The result is shown in table one, uh, in table two. We can see that MV is a strong baseline uh, as the four PGMs are not consistently performing better than MV. And we also find CROD GP performs consistently better than MV. And Further, we found that uh, this is effective is mainly attributed to the JP component instead of the likelihood component. Uh, this is because the fact that MVGP performs better than MV, but likelihood not. It indicates that auxiliary information of tasks help to improve label aggregation performance. So uh, it is also interesting to study how to compile GP prior with popular PGMs in the future work. And the second research question is, how does the model perform in terms of selecting new tasks for future crowd annotation? Rank we rank tasks in the test set according to their acquisition function scores and select a top proportion. The selected tasks are taken as positive and then we report the recall. So in figure four, it shows that crowd GP is more effective than random sampling in recalling tasks with relevant labels. This functionality of crowd GP helps to reduce crowdsourcing cost. The third research question is, how do the auxiliary information of tasks and the prior relevance knowledge affect model performance? So for the task feature, we use the default Crowd GP setting and only vary task features, and we do similar for main function. In the table three and the table four, we find that both task feature and main function affect the Crowd GP performance. For task feature, we find semantics better than ranking and ranking is better than lexical, but these features are not addictive. Crowd GP is sensitive to task features and therefore careful designing of task features is necessary in practice. For main functions, we find a pre-trained ranking function as main function can improve the performance of GP a lot. So to conclude, we propose a new probabilistic graphical model called GP and uh, we use VEM to optimize the model. The model is able to predict labels for existing cross-sourcing tasks and selecting new tasks for future crowd annotation. And the effectiveness is mainly attributed to task correlation modeling and the prior relevance knowledge. Thank you very much for your attention.